interesting uh, as we uh, talked in the live show. If um, I heard the buzzer, and you know, after I heard it about two weeks ago, somebody was mentioning my video, and it's back tonight. I'm hearing it uh, quite well. Um, it is very interesting to hear the buzzer uh, all the time. It's it's always one of those weird signals that you just like, you know, kind of kind of tune in and, and hope that it's there. It's a good indication also of propagation conditions on certain parts of the band as uh, the signal is kind of a tough one in North America. And uh, if you have a high noise level, and this is interesting because, you know, I could imagine that if I'd go somewhere where the noise floor would be very low, um, it actually would be probably an easy catch. Uh, it, it really has to do with the noise floor uh, that's very high and uh, it has to, you know, be stronger than that noise floor in order to be heard. So it's always kind of a difficult one here. But uh, hearing it tonight and we're at uh, 0241 UTC right now. So uh, kind of nice to hear it. Uh, once again tonight on 4625 kilohertz upper side band. I've never been lucky enough to hear any voices or anything. And being far from uh, St. Petersburg, where this comes from, I've not been able to catch any of the uh, the uh, pirates that you know try to um, either interfere with it or send all sorts of kooky. Uh, images, if you have an SDR through the waterfall, you can notice it. Um, uh, in Europe, a lot of you guys have heard a lot of things happening on this frequency, which is a well-known frequency for the Russian uh, buzzer. But uh, here in North America, apart from the buzzer, I've never heard or received anything else on this frequency. So the buzzer, for your enjoyment, on 4625 kilohertz, upper sideband. I'm using the MLA30 loop antenna in the back in the uh, front balcony. <laughs> <laughs> 